What's up guys, my name's Andre and welcome to a new video. Well, I promised you I would do another video on the 100cc moped, so here it is. So, what have I done to it? Basically, from the one or two months that I've been with it, I know that the uh, embedded tank is FUBAR. Uh, it's, it's not usable, it's full of rust. The petcock was just absolutely clogged with rust. Plus, uh, because of the engine mod that he did on this, this engine is so powerful that it actually cracked the frame on both sides all the way through. So that means that it's leaking gasoline from the uh, tank on the frame itself. So, uh, I abandoned this idea. And so as a temporary solution, I was using this uh, oil tank. This is an old oil tank. I cleaned it up on the inside with gasoline and then used it for about two weeks. <laughs> That's about a liter of gasoline, or a fifth of a gallon. And uh, now, I've finally stood up and made this aberration, which tops off with the rest of the aberration that this thing is. Um, basically, I bought some, uh, some 10 millimeter um, sewage pipe with two caps, and a uh, a gas petcock. I, I don't I, I have, I'm no, I know that this is not called a petcock as a matter of fact, but uh, if it doesn't leak gas, it's not gonna leak gasoline, right? So I bought this for 13 bucks. It was hella expensive in fact. And uh, the, you know, I bought two caps and one meter. One meter, that's about what, three feet of, of this 10 millimeter pipe can see that it's really quite thick when you think about it and uh, I was trying to mount that gas petcock that actual gas not gasoline but actual gas petcock in there uh, in a way that the uh, the tap itself would make the the thread into the plastic and seal it up so it took me some like three attempts yeah it took me three attempts on the third third's a charm right and the third time I finally got it I finally got it, and here it is. We finally got the uh, the tap. It's made for gas, but if it runs well on gasoline, why not? Uh, and that's about it. Now, what I'm trying to find is a proper, a proper uh, cap for this, because we got no cap. As you can see, it's already filled with gasoline because I had to test it out. I even took the uh, the bike for a spin after I installed this. And I didn't, I didn't just glue the damn thing in place or secured it with, with copper wires. Uh, I had to shock mount the, the tank because I wouldn't want it to just, you know, fall off the, on the first pothole that I got. In fact, uh, I have never seen a city with more, with more potholes than mine. So as you can see that the tank is shock mounted on both sides. This is like very thick foam, like those pro taper stuff that they put on on dirt bikes it's about the same thing but uh, I trimmed it and uh, I trimmed it and I cut it trimmed it again <laughs> and used it as, as shock absorbers to uh, pretty much isolate the tank from the uh, from the vibrations of the engine which are quite quite a lot of vibrations in fact that it sends through the frame uh, I tried to calculate this. This is 42 centimeters long and trying to calculate the volume of this it gave me about 13 liters which is almost two gallons but uh, I am not sure that it's gonna hold that much gasoline so I'll have to test it out by myself. It's gonna be enough for an engine of this size. I still have to uh, to do a valve job on it because it's just drinking. Uh, this engine is supposed to do 60 kilometers per liter or about 134 miles per gallon and it's doing 20 kilometers per, per liter about a third of what it should be doing so if you if you get 134 divided by 3 and, and, you, and then you get how much this is making it's better than a car certainly but it's not what this engine should be doing it's not because the car because of the uh, of the mixture because I am using all of the factory settings on the carb. Uh, I'm using a 40, uh, a 40 um, idle jet and a 92 pilot jet. 
Ooh, that's a lot of technical jargon. Uh, it's been running great. Uh, I changed the uh, I changed the uh, the chain and the sprockets because they were quite worn. Uh, I've installed a speedometer and an odometer. As you can see, I've rode 186 kilometers since I've I've installed this. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's a short video showing you uh, what's becoming of the uh, 100cc moped. The, the, the rear mud stopper is bent and deformed this way because I was trying to melt it because, as you can see, the swing arm, I finally know what the name of this damn thing is, because the swing arm is not the original one from this frame. And it's a lot longer than the original one, as you can completely tell. So even though the rear wheel is smaller, you can have an original uh, 100cc, uh, original uh, moped, this is a different brand, but it's this, basically the same project. You can see the original swing, swing arm, I, at least I hope you can see it. Hang on. There we go. So that's the original swing arm. And yeah, it's, it's as good as it gets. So as you can see, the, uh, the front and rear wheels they are both of the same size. They're 17 inches. This wheel, I believe it's 16 or 15 inches. I, I think it's 15 inches. So it's quite a small wheel. And even if it's smaller and the swing arm is lengthier, the original, this is the original mud stopper for the frame. It just hits the wheel. So I had to bend it out. And even when I'm sitting on it, as you can see, it rubs in there clearly. It rubs in there. So that's one problem that I'm trying to uh, to solve, or it's just going to solve itself until I make a hole through it, and that will be the end of it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.